Assalamu alaikum everybody. Welcome back to OMG Muslims. It's me, Abda, and today I'm going to be talking about a day without immigrants. Let's talk about this for a second, guys. Okay, so a sister messaged me on Facebook and she said, hey sis, you, you, you know, can you talk about this? A lot of the people are really worried with all of the things that are going on and she sent me a little flyer for this day with Without immigrants and the flyer is basically telling everybody uh, to any person who's an immigrant illegal a resident a citizen whatever you are as long as you're an immigrant that you don't need to send your kids to school for the day you don't need to purchase anything for the day you don't need to go to work yourself or school yourself basically this is all in an attempt to show America what it would be like not to have immigrants anymore. What it would be like if all the immigrants just up and left. You know, that sounds like a great idea in theory, but let's look at the logic here and let's just look a little bit deeper into this and let me tell you why. I think that's a horrible idea. The first issue that I have with this is surrounded around children. Firstly, since a huge part of this movement is centered around um, laws that seem to be unfair in regards to immigrants and immigration, and a lot of different situations that are going on now. I think that we really need to think about how doing things like this affects children. And a lot of people think that it's a very good learning opportunity for children, but for children who are already suffering and being bullied and going through a lot of hard struggles in school because of the fact that they're different or because of the because of where they came from or because they don't speak the language as perfectly as everyone else does or because they look different, they may wear the hijab to school, they're already going through a tough time. They're fitting in and being a part of that and to separate them from other students even for a day is even more detrimental to their mental well-being and even more draws a division between them and the other students who already are treating them differently. So I, I really don't see how that is beneficial to the children at all. Secondly, a lot of children are already struggling. Uh, sometimes English is not their first language. Sometimes it's their second or third language. And they're already struggling understanding things in class. They're already, we already have things like ESL classes. They're already struggling with, you know, writing and being able to do their homework. So putting them a day behind doesn't really make any sense. Putting your kids through any additional stress than they are already having to deal with on a daily basis. Secondly, talking about division. Um, not everybody is going to do this. There's there's no possibility, Allah Wallam, that there's going to be a 100% success rate with this, that you're going to get every single immigrant to close their stores, every single immigrant not to go to work um, or school or any of those things. So it's going to cause a division in a group that is already suffering. It's going to make the person who is being involved in this look at the person who's not as if they they are somehow less or worse because they decided to stay at work today and make money that they need to feed their families and I think that that would only further divide immigrants and into even smaller groups and I just don't think that there's any power in that at all whatsoever because at the end of the day we all need to work and we need to feed our families. This is not a long-term solution, okay? Not giving your money today at the grocery stores and the gas stations that you normally would go to and just simply saving it till tomorrow to do, it's not negatively affecting anybody. You're going to spend the same money anyway, right? You're just not gonna spend it today, you're gonna spend it tomorrow. You're not gonna buy your groceries today, you're gonna go buy them tomorrow. So essentially they're not losing anything. All they have to do is figure out how to get through one single day. So basically all I can see with this situation so far is 
losses for the immigrant community. It's just a lose-lose-lose situation for you. Your child is a day behind in school. You lose a day worth of work hours. So there are a lot of immigrants here. I was reading up to 26% of farm workers are actually illegal immigrants and they're not racking up vacation and sick days, okay? And you're not making a whole lot of money on top of that. Taking the day off can be really detrimental to your finances. And it doesn't really help that all of the employers are already, they already know what you're doing and they already know what's going on. So basically you lose your time, you lose your money, and the immigrant community is even further inconvenienced than they already are with all of the other crazy things that they have to deal with. Again, I mean, it's just a day off. It's, it's highly likely that you're going to have to deal with the piled up work when you get back, okay? All the PTS reports that haven't been done, you're gonna have to do them, okay? All of the toilets that haven't been cleaned, you're probably gonna have to clean them. All the files that haven't been filed yet, you're gonna have to file them. I mean, it's just the day, so it's really easy to just go, okay, she'll be back tomorrow. He'll be in tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and just leave this until then. I, I don't understand why you would put yourself through the extra hassle. I've talked enough about why these things don't seem like they're really going to be beneficial in any way and only cause more hardship for the immigrants who are already going through so much. So why don't we take a moment to talk about some solutions that are actually actionable, realistic, and things that we can actually do. So the first thing you can do is, you know, stop giving your money to these companies. You can quit going to Walmart and and Target. You can start supporting your local African food stores, your local international food stores, your Desi and Indian and Pakistani food stores, your supermarkados, your panderias. You know, the food's like most of the time better anyway. The bread be fresher anyhow. Like you can start purchasing all of your things from there and funneling your money into businesses that are owned by immigrants. And there are tons of them. You know, there are lots of immigrants from all over the world here in this country who are educated, who own businesses, who are extremely hardworking people and you know some of you might go oh well they don't carry all the kinds of things that I want. Well if you support them and put your money into their businesses then they will be able to support you by bringing in all of the types of things you want to have and it's happened to me before. Sometimes there may be a Daisy store or an international store that doesn't carry the thing that I'm looking for, if you ask them to order it for you, no problem. Rather than telling all of these immigrants to close their businesses for the day, what you should do is go buy your gas from Abu's corner store. You should go get your hair and nails done at Aisha's salon. You should have Abdul Rahman sell your house for you. See what I'm saying? Like, why don't you make it a day of supporting all of the businesses owned by immigrants because there's tons of them and I don't see why they would close their doors and lose any business today. This should be their biggest day of the year. You may even find if you go step foot in those stores that you may see a whole lot of stuff that you can use. Um, as for your children, you can stop sending them to public schooling. You have so many options nowadays. They have K through 12 programs on the internet that your children can do. They can do classes from home. Um, there are so many different groups and connections. Um, I know here in my area and all all over the country where you can have your child homeschooled, you can get with groups of other sisters or mothers who are homeschooling their children and have them help you with homeschooling yours if you have a, a job outside of the home. You can also send your children to like an Islamic school. Um, any city that's got more than a couple of masjids usually has one and we put a lot of time and money into those schools. Parents cannot afford to, or financially cover the cost of tuition that the, that the school can cover that cost for them. But people just, they don't sign up their kids. They let your children have their Eid vacation so that they don't miss valuable class time during those um, days. They are willing and extremely used to dealing with children who have language barriers and they also have really small class sizes so that your kids get the individual attention that they need to help them learn quickly and grow and the education that they get is comparable or better than the education that they get in public schooling anyhow without all of the rest of the muck and crud that comes with
with it. You don't know a lot of our children are being bullied and treated differently and all of the things that are going on are not helping. It's just further feeling the fire that they're different, they're not like us, um, they're not from the place we are, they don't speak the language we do. So it's okay to bully them and make them feel like they're not like everybody else. Guys, a lot of people think that the louder you yell, the easier it's going to be for people to hear you. But remember, Allah says in the Quran, in Luqman 31, 19, be moderate in your walking and your talking. The most unpleasant sound is the brain of a donkey. If there was any benefit in doing these kinds of things, then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and the Sahabas would have been all about it. You have a massive amount of control over money and resources. If you change the way that you use it and dispose of it, you will find that you can make changes that are very agreeable to your cause. I'm just saying. Okay guys, that's all I have to say about that. But you know, like honestly, I'm sorry if anybody was planning to do that. I don't mean to, you know, hurt anybody or make anybody feel bad about what they want to do to try and change things. But I just think that we, that we can oftentimes let emotion um, drive us to do things that just don't make a whole lot of sense that only end up, you know, negatively affecting us and our families. I really don't believe that we should be doing anything that's going to make life any harder for the people that are already struggling. You know, that's, and that's basically it. Guys, if I said anything good is from Allah, if, if not, you know, it's just me and my shaitan. So, you know, let it go. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And assalamu alaikum to everybody. Do 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 do